what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk Candace Owens is a conservative I would not call her a black conservative I would call her a conservative who happens to be black and you know she makes some really good uh statements sometimes and then other times not so good statements but she was uh, asked on her opinion on the death of the queen queen elizabeth now let me just say this i know many blacks have been talking um, about queen elizabeth i know that the eff from south africa released a statement how they're not going to celebrate the queen's death and all of that and i understand you know why people feel that way especially towards the black uh, towards the british people and i get it and i understand the frustrations because even us in america we were enslaved by people who came from the uk to america right and then also the countries uh, and the powers that be that i believe that cause distension in civil war in many of the countries they are westernized powers such as the uk especially what they did during the Biafra war. All right. But now the UK colonized about 30% of the continent's population. So countries like Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, and things like that. And Kenneth Owens says this, people don't like the queen because it has nothing to do with colonization. Okay. In other words, you know, she says this, the British invading Africa brought African colonies a net positive. All right. Now, let me just say this in certain places. I've heard Africans say that that British colonization has developed them into certain ways where they are now, right? In comparison to where they were built, because you actually have schools. Now you have systems. Um, they can run the government, even though it's not good, but they have somewhat of a healthcare system, things they didn't have before the British invasion, some levels of technology, things like that. Okay, fine. But here's what I want to talk about the sensitivity to how blacks feel about being subjugated by whites. And again, I'm going to say, this is going to be, this is going to be controversial. If you want to talk to black people, okay. You got to be very careful of the things that you say. In other words, you didn't have anything of value until these white people colonize you. Now, let me just say this. Everybody has learned something from colonization in the positive. I'll give you an example. Look at the United Arab Emirates. The Arab Emirates before colonization, Saudi Arabia. Well, they were, I mean, before they got some of the stuff, let's say, look at Singapore. You know, these countries are doing a much better by, by mimicking what, how to run a country in a Western light. But here's what I want to say. When you're dealing with a black group and you know that blacks can be a little offended by stuff like that, there are certain things that you can't say. And then you wonder why blacks don't want to punch the Republican ticket. I'm sorry. There are certain things that I would love to say to black people every day on my show. And I can't. It's certain things you want to be able to say to black women and you can't black men and you can't because it's how you say things. And you have to also look at the colonization of the U U United Kingdom to countries created so much tribalism, this tribe against that it was already there, but it made it worse. Many people lost who they were cultures um certain abilities you know a lot of corruption came in, in, in these new governments things that were not done the african way i want to talk about this real quick for an example okay um the africa has always been capitalist okay always and this is no fault of the british here but i just want to say when, when 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 independence came most african governments chose socialism all right because they were so oppressed by European capitalism. Look at India. India couldn't even create, like all these countries have basically built up westernized infrastructures. 
all the African art is going here and there and stuff like that. Their resources stolen from them. So much so that Africa went away from its traditional marketplace roots. Okay. And George Aidi talks about that. The famous Ghanaian economist who now is deceased. People thought of themselves less than colorism and skin bleaching. You know, a lot of that also, a lot of negatives came from colonialism. Some a net positive. And what, what was the net positive? Well, look at it. And it's always looking to kiss the behinds of somebody who's oppressing people and not looking at trying to empower their own people, which is what Candace never does. And this is the reasons why black conservatives continually lose. Now, are there good things that you could have learned from the British? Absolutely. Absolutely. But let's not act like the, the British didn't learn from Africans. They were destabilized. And it's not the British who thought they were destabilized. But what we're saying is, is like, what you had to offer didn't mean anything. And that's something that we got to stay away from. You're not going to win black people when you have black conservatives. And we're going to be honest, a black conservative who's married to somebody who is not black. I don't care how much truth you talk. People are going to look at that. They're going to look at that. You, you don't have to get a, you don't have to agree, but they're going to look at that. It's not going to be taken lightly. Guys, it's the truth. Not going to be taken lightly. It's going to look be looked at very negatively. Very negative. And as a, as a black woman trying to talk, you, you, can't, you, you, you got to stop talking down to blacks. That you're saying needs to come over to the, to, to, to the right. You got to. Everything colonialists do, Europeans do, white people do, that blacks do, it's always the black person's fault. That's what you hear when you hear black conservatives talk on social media, which is why they lose the black community. You have to, you have to actually hate yourself to agree with what black conservatives have to say. And let me tell you this, they say some good things. I know this, I'm a Republican. Y'all don't like that, but I am, I don't care. I am black first, but my political ticket is the Repu I'm a Republican, a registered Republican voter. But now if I want to get black people onto any train of thought, I cannot always be insulting them, saying that whatever they did before is wrong. Uh, you, you benefited from this. You benefit being talked down to from, from, from being racialized and, 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 and oppressed. I can't say that. This is wrong. It's wrong. This is why black conservatives can never make any ground in the black community because they're too busy running their mouth to oppress the others. That's why. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy. O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of the Serbia Junk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.